Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's take a look at the drawer component from Material UI. The drawer component can be used to create a sidebar, which can be used for a number of things which completely depend on your application. They can contain links to other pages in your app, allow you to switch accounts, etc. In this video, we will learn how to create temporary drawers. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI drawer.tsx. I'm going to create a new component. To create a drawer, we need the drawer component. Import it at the top. Import drawer from the core library. Now, instead of the div tag, invoke the drawer component. On this component, we specify the anchor prop. This basically controls from which direction the sidebar opens. Let's set it to left. Next, within the opening and closing tags, we can specify the sidebar content. Since our focus is on the drawer itself and not what goes inside the drawer, I'm just going to add some text. Let's import the box and typography components at the top. Now within the drawer component, box, add some padding, width is going to be equal to 250 pixels, align text to the center, and add a role attribute. Role is equal to presentation. Within the box component, add an 8.6 typography variant. That says side panel. All right, our drawer is now ready. But as it stands, the drawer will be hidden as that is the default behavior. To control the opening and closing of the drawer, we need a state variable. At the top, import use state from React and create a state variable. Let's call this is drawer open, set is drawer open, and the initial value is false. Next, on the drawer component, we assign is drawer open to a prop called open. We also need to handle the on close event. So on close is equal to an arrow function where we call set is drawer open, passing in false. Last but not the least, we need a button to open the drawer component by setting the is drawer open value to true. Let's create an icon button for that. At the top, import icon button and the menu icon. Next, wrap the JSX with React fragment and add the icon button. Icon button, child is menu icon. The icon button size is going to be large. Edge is going to be equal to start. Color is going to be equal to inherit. Aria label is equal to logo. And finally, on click, we call set is drawer open, passing in true. All right, let's now include this component in app component and head to the browser. We have the icon button and on click of this button, the drawer opens. Click on the overlay and it closes. Of course, the content we have is very simple, but you can pretty much add any component we have learned so far or will be learning in the upcoming videos inside this side panel. Now this is the temporary drawer. 
MUI also supports permanent draw variant, but that needs quite a bit of knowledge about layouts. So I'm going to leave it for you to explore if you have a requirement. If you're strong with the fundamentals of CSS, you should be able to understand the documentation. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at the speed dial component in Material UI. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.